guys, today's video is going to be on my question and answers answers video. So let's get started. So Fish Care for Fish asked me, when did you get your first beta? I got my first beta fish when I was about seven and his name was Splashy and he died about four years later. I love betas, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, asked what is your favorite food, color, and animal? My favorite food is probably anything with chocolate. I love chocolate. My favorite color is this color right here, a mint green or a light blue. And my favorite animal, I don't have a favorite animal, but I would have to say I like tortoises and turtles a lot. Then she also asked what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be something that involves my pets, specifically my tortoises, because they are going to be with me for a long time. Maybe breed them or be a vet. And then she asked me, where did you get your betas at? I got two of my betas from PetSmart, Petco and PetSmart, and I got another one from Walmart. He was a rescue. Repti Expert asked me if you could get another pet, what would it be? Um, probably a rat, because I have always wanted a rat or a mouse. Also asked, what made you decide to choose tortoises over getting some kind of other pet at the time? Um, when I was first confronted by my mom about getting a tortoise, she just said, we were at Petco, we saw the tortoises, and she said, you know, I'm gonna get you one of those, and she got me a, a goldfish for my birthday, so when she offers me a pet for free, I'm not gonna deny it. So, I didn't really think about it at the time, I was just so excited on getting another pet. Tails and Scales XOXO asked me, what made you decide to make a YouTube channel about your pets? When I was researching to get my tortoise, um, I came across the YouTube community all about pet care, and that sort of kick-started it. And then when I got my second tortoise a couple months later, I made a bunch of videos on my iPod, just crash course videos that nobody ever saw, but I finally took the step and I uploaded it. She also asked who slash what was your YouTube inspiration? Um, when I was first researching my tortoises, um, Guinea Pig Help Guide 06 was my inspiration. Uh, she, I actually considered naming my channel Russian Tortoise Help Guide 06, but I didn't. Um, I just really wanted to be like her when I was into YouTube. She also asked me, what is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is probably reading or being with my pets. Biscuit and Neil asked me, what is your favorite pet? Um, my favorite pet, I can't choose a favorite, but Jack has been with me the longest, so I've bonded most with him. He asked, dogs or cats? I would have to say dogs because I've never owned a cat and because I feel dogs are very loyal and great companions. He asked me hamsters or guinea pigs. Um, I have never really had any interaction with either because I was never really involved in rodents or small animals, but I like hamsters. He asked me what is the oddest pet you've ever kept? Uh, definitely a tortoise because my pet career has been dogs, tortoises, and fish. He asked me my favorite fish. My favorite type of freshwater fish is definitely a crown tail betta fish or any betta fish in general. I think they're beautiful. My favorite saltwater fish would probably have to be a puffer fish. I love puffer fish. And then the last thing he asked, if you had a million dollars, what would you buy? Um, that's a hard question. I would probably buy a lot of stuff for the pets, but then I would spend a lot of it on me mainly. Erin and Anand, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, asked me, are you on Facebook? Not personal for the channel. No, I don't have a personal or a channel Facebook. He also asked me, where did you get the Spongebob houses? He is talking about the Spongebob houses inside of my three beta fish tanks. I got them at PetSmart. And he asked, do you like Rebecca Black's song, In Your Words? Um, I've never really heard any of Rebecca Black's work. Thumbs 0 asked me, what type of beta is your favorite? Definitely a crown tail. Or any black and white beta. She asked me, will you get more pets in the future? Um, I'm probably going to get more fish in the future, but other than fish, I'm not exactly sure. She asked me, how long do you hope the channel will stay? Um, I hope my channel will stay until for at least a couple more years. I have no intentions now to shut it down or to stop making videos. 
Um, I intend to keep this going for a long time. She asked, what is your favorite video you have made? Um, I like all my videos, but I think one of my favorites that I'm most proud of is probably my Russian tortoise care or my zoo vlog that I just op uploaded on Monday. She asked, if there is a country you would love to go to and splurge on your pet switch country, definitely United Kingdom or UK because I heard that they have great pet products. And she said, do you like Petco or PetSmart better? Definitely PetSmart. I feel they take much better care of their pets and make sure you're prepared to have a pet before letting you have it. Chelsea D asked, how do you earn enough money to get all those animals? Um, I basically just rely on birthday money and Christmas money. Um, whenever I need to buy something, I tell, I write it down on a piece of paper saying I owe you this much to my mom. And then finally, when I get enough money, I pay her back. Pokey Forever 100 asked three questions. Who was your first pet? Um, besides Goldfish or Goldfish, my first pet was my dog Jack. Hela Gomez asked, can you tell us a little bit about your life? I'm going to name out five facts now about my life. One, I'm not an only child. Two, I could live on milk. If you were to plot me on a deserted island with nothing but milk, I could probably live like that. Three, I love the beach. I love going to the beach. Four, I'm obsessed with the series um, The Mortal Instruments, obsessed with the series Hunger Games, obsessed with the series Divergent, and obsessed with the series Harry Potter. And five, whenever I see a poster for a movie I really like, I literally scream in the car, no matter where I am, I just poke my mom and I go, look at that, look at that, and it's really funny. My little zoo 22 asked me, who were the first YouTubers you subscribed to? The first YouTubers I subscribed to were Turts and Tords, Guinea Pig Help Guide 06, um, Smosh, Jenna Marbles, all those big name YouTubes. She said Anthony or Ian. Definitely Anthony, even though he's getting married. What faction fits your personality best? Um, faction, if you don't know what that is, it is a group in a book called Divergent. Um, faction that fits me best might be Candor or Amity, because I'm not selfless, and I'm definitely not brave or smart. So I would have to say that I'm either peaceful or truthful. She said Instagram or YouTube. Um, Instagram is a great hobby. Um, I can post as many pictures as I want, but I would definitely choose YouTube over it just because I love educating people. Avery Rose 6 asked, will you ever get a small animal such as a guinea pig, hamster, gerbil, rat, or mouse? Um, hopefully, but since my dog is a terrier, that means he hates rats and rodents, and I would like to only get a rodent if I can be sure that Jack won't try to harm it. He asked me, what is your favorite YouTubers? My favorite YouTubers are people like, uh, my favorite pet YouTubers are my Little Zoo 22, Chocolate Colors 26, Hamster Fanatic 26, Sunny Kristen 8, everybody in the, in the featured box on my channel I love, but um, the big name YouTubers like comedy, I love Rooster Teeth, um, Smosh, Jenna Marbles, Ray William Johnson, um, all those big name YouTubes. Jaden Harding asked me, what is your favorite animal you've had so far in your life? Um, I love taking care of tortoises, but I would have to say my dog Jack just because I love him so much. Roscoe Nelson asked, how many fish have you had and when did you get your first one? I have had so many fish I can't even count. And I got my first one when I, um, when I was a toddler and I won my first goldfish at a fair. Reptile Man asked, what is your first reptile? Definitely a tortoise that I got about a year ago. Mrs. Hermocollis, if I'm pronouncing that right, asked me, how long have you had your Russian tortoises and where did you get them? I have had each of my Russian tortoises, I've had my first one, Boris, for over a year and a half and my second one for over a year and one third. And I got them both at Petco. Nation Hamster asked me, how many pets do you have? Uh, not including fish, I have three pets. Including fish, I have 14, including fish. And Hamster Fanatic 26 asked me, what's your favorite wild animal? My favorite wild animal would have to be a panda. I love pandas. 
Pepper Pigs asks me, where did you get your turtle? Um, first off, I have two tortoises, and they, I got them both at Petco, and she asked me, how old is your turtle? Both of my tortoise, um, my first tortoise, Boris, is probably around 10 years old, with, that is an educated guess, and my second one is probably around 30 or 40 years old. That was the video, guys. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't answer all of your guys' questions, but that is because I already answered them before. So if you asked me about five questions and I only, only answered three, it's because I already answered them in the further questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about me and my life and my pets, and I hope you enjoyed the Q&A. Bye!